I was watching the students perform this evening. I was listening to the words that they were saying. I was watching the way in which they delivered them. And there's something very special about what they were doing that isn't easy to do. I cast my mind back over 20 years ago when I was a young trainee teacher in Bristol at the tender age of 22, just a couple of years older than our own Jack Weston. And I remember one of the first times I walked into a grade seven science class to deliver this lesson. I don't remember how well I did. I don't remember how much they learnt, but I do remember one incident in that class, a boy called Tim Fraser, I, I remember him to this day, sitting at the back of the class, messing around, distracting everyone, spoiling my rhythm as I was trying to get into the lesson. I thought, how am I going to deal with this boy? I'm not going to shout, I'm not going to lose my cool, I'm going to stay calm, I know, I'm going to give him a look, I'll give him the stare and that'll keep him quiet. So I stood there for what seemed like about five minutes until he finally noticed me. And he looked up from what he was doing and he shouted out to the whole class, ha ha, look at him, he's about to cry. You could, you could imagine, you can imagine how my heart sank as I was trying to shut this boy up and, and, and the only uh, effect I was having was appearing like I was about to break down in tears at the front of the room. But I went back into that class the next day and I learned from that and I was a little bit better. And then the following day I went back again and I was a bit better still. 20 years on, I can't say that I've perfected my craft, but I'm certainly a lot better than I was back then. And that's what I observe in these students this evening. I watch them thinking about what they're saying and what they're doing, the skills they're developing, but also the ideas that they're sharing. And what I see in them is young people who are determined to act in order to make them better in the future. With the way that they're practicing, the resilience they have, their tenacity to learn and so on. But beyond that, I see in them a desire to make the world a better place too. Not just thinking about themselves, but thinking about how their actions affect other people. And it's for that reason that I'm particularly proud to be a part of this community and particularly proud of our students this evening. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.